Hey guys, Team Jester 44 back with more Pokemon Gold, and we are still here in the Team Rocket hideout in Mahogany Town. Um, and we hopefully will finish it up by this episode with some luck. Um, there's an item over here which I don't think I'm going to be able to get. What else is new? It's a protein which you could sell for a lot of money, but it also has some use on like a nugget. This guy, Lance already took care of. Err, the guy in the cave is incredibly tough. Thank you for telling us something we already knew. Um, I forget exactly where the passwords are, so I'm just gonna fight everyone in here. I just work for self, and I run super research for Team Rocket. I'm also child, like, you need to be punished. Um, okay, then? Hey, nerd. He is a scientist. All scientists are nerds. No offense to scientists. Yeah. This is that coughing. Um, I always found coughing sprite in this game a little interesting. I mean,. I'm pretty sure it's the only Pokemon that has, like, background stuff, like that smoke. I don't know what you would call it, but I'm calling it background stuff, because I roll. That's the way I roll. Call background stuff. And Ariel got poisoned. Great! Uh, let's Gusk you. Come on, level up, level up, level up, level up. Oh, come on. I don't want to leave you in there, Ariel, because you're going to die to poison. Or PSN. You're going to die to the PlayStation Network! Yeah, I went there. I, I love how- Oh god! I hit self-destruct, but it missed. Ah. Self-destruct um, is the first time I've seen this in this LP, but it'll blow up the attack- It'll just uh, take all the HP away from the attacking Pokemon, and it does a shitload of damage to the uh, receiver. So it's basically a double KO, but... Since he was stupid enough to use it, we win! A mere tactical error? More like a mere bad move error. That's right, I'm great at insults. Uh, Overkill will probably be able to just breeze through the rest of this place, so we're gonna switch him up front. What do you have to say? A radio signal jazz Pokemon mad, my experiment is a complete success. Now you called it a success? You're a little weirdo! Ooh, a lady. Do I know the password? Maybe. No know exactly. I get it, get it! So I'm gonna just say that she has the password, because it's Jessie! Because if she's denying having the password, then she definitely has the password. And for those of you who are, are not very observant, Ekans backward is Snake. <gasps> I know, it's shocking, isn't it? Uh, overkill, how I missed you so. I haven't been able to use your one-hit KO moves in forever. And Gloom has like five possibilities of dying here. Um, Ice Punch is super effective against the grass part. Fire Punch is super effective against the gas part. Grass part. It's part poison, so Psybeam is super effective against it. The only thing I want to do diddly is Thunder Punch, but we're not going to use it. That was like quadruple overkill, if I had to guess. Alright, stop. I'll tell you. That was so easy. Pass her to the boss's room and slow poke. Really? Slow poke tail? People are obsessed with that. Now let's see which way do we go now. We go this way. Take on you. Uh, I don't care about Pokemon or her. You heartless bastard. He doesn't care that his poke that Pokemon are hurt by him. His name's Mitch. And he's a Ditto. Ditto is an interesting Pokemon. I mean, it only has one move: Transform, which allows you, to, which allows it to copy the moves and the type and the actual Pokemon it's fighting, but that's basically all it does, so it's pretty much fail, but if you can copy a good Pokemon, eh, whatever. Whatever, it, he's dead. Do you have the other password? I turn out the power of our radio signal for broadcast station to either I thought, I mean, you're an idiot. Do you have the password? Yuck, yuck, yuck! I guess I'm challenging to a battle. I wonder if he has the password, especially since he said, I'll give you the password. Nah, he can't have the password. Why would he have the password? If he says he's gonna give us the password, there's no way he has the password. Let's just thigh, thigh beam. Yes, we're gonna use a beam of thighs. Beat you with muscles! No, that's muscles' job. Thigh beam is what I meant to say, but it's what he can and that was pretty, way too easy. Yuck, yuck, yuck! You need to stop saying yuck. Yuck! Oh my 
Will you stop saying it? Okay, so it's Slowpoke Tail and Raticate Tail. That's just grand. Here's a dire hit, which I can't carry. I'll come back later and get all the items when I have room. And this is a full heal, which I, again, miraculously have room for because there's already one of them in my bag. This, this game makes so much sense. Yeah, Sariel's gonna die. Boohoo. And here's an ice heal, which I can't carry any more of! Don't you just love when you can't carry any items? What's over here? Um, there's nothing down here, so don't even bother about it. We're back downstairs, even though we just came around. Uh, here's a trainer that you need to fight. Oh, a kid on the line is gonna eliminate you. But eliminate you, I must! I just like the way he said that, I don't know why. Ivor is not paying attention to see how many Pokemon he has. All I know is that if he has a Rattata, he's not tough. Not tough. Let's Thunder Punch! Because we haven't used it in a while. Uh, I'm, I'm starting to question if you, why, who wouldn't be able to breeze through this game with only overkill at their side. Seriously, if he's getting one hit KOs on things that aren't even weak to these moves? So yeah, anyone that wants to play this game, go get a Kadabra now. So um, in other news, it was my birthday uh, yesterday, which is the day after I'm recording this, which is actually March 30th, and I finally got a Nintendo DS, DSi. So now I can finally play the new Pokemans, which I've wanted to play for a while now. So I will go from this old generation game to 3D wonderful graphics of handheldness. And Overkill is probably like 1 XP away from leveling up. If you knew you'd lose, why'd you even bother stopping me? Go away. Okay, these stairs lead to, um, a TM, which is Thief. And- WHAT?! WHAT?! What? I, I totally forgot. Don't tell me I had to fight you. Don't tell me I had to fight him. Oh, thank God. That cutscene was totally pointless. No. N n no. That cutscene had no point. What? Who are you? This is my office. From our leader Giovanni. Since his banding, Team Rocket, three years ago, he's been in training. We we're certain he'll be back someday to assume command again. That's why we're standing guard. So you're standing guard for a guy that's been missing for three years, hoping that he'll magically return one day. That's great. Rocket Executive, that's a new battle sprite. But it doesn't matter, because just no matter how many sprites you get, overkill will still destroy you. Like this. Bam. Wait, let's try to go for a three hit, a three move sweep. I'm not switching out overkill. I don't care. We're trying for a three move sweep here. Radicate. Um, we'll just deal with him with ice punch or Psy beam because Psy beam will get stab. Okay, fine. Use quick attack. Stupid. Still be a three KO or a three move victory screech. Oh, so close. And his last member is coughing, which we'll just take care of with Psy Beam. No, not Thigh Beam, Psy Beam. And easiest boss ever. Even easier than Chuck. Actually, no, I can't say that. Chuck only took two moves. <laughs> I, I couldn't do a thing. Giovanni, please forgive me. He is not here. No, I can't let this affect me. I have to inform the others. Good job running into a table. Aren't you supposed to give me a password or something? What do you have to say? The password is... Hail Giovanni. Good one! Um, now I'm actually running short on time, so we're gonna have to put this into a third episode, because I really I have to go in like 10 minutes. So I won't have enough time to finish this. So I'll see you guys next time when we finally finish this stupid face. Look at my